Right, thanks for waking up with us on this Sunday morning. You're watching Fox and Friends. Well, the number of students who use social media sites is growing every day. That's no secret. And many of those kids may be engaging in risky online behavior that could get them in trouble or make them the victim of cyber fraud. A new survey shows most young adults are aware of these dangers, but don't do much to deal with it. Here with some things that every student should know about their online identity is ID theft expert Robert Siciliano. Also with us is Joey Carroza. He's a college sophomore and a cyber theft victim. Nice to see both of you this morning. Thank you. Robert, what is the problem? What are kids doing online? Well, RSA at MaintainMyPrivacy.com did a study and found that uh, over 90% of 18 to 24-year-olds are uh, putting too much information online. They're sharing data that they shouldn't be, and human resource officers, uh, college administrators, and potential employers are seeing this. And while people may uh, lie in a resume, they're not lying on social media. And we're seeing also a lot of uh, bosses are going first to social media to get information about a potential employee. They're going there first. They're Googling someone before they ever actually meet the person. Right? And when they do, sometimes they're seeing, uh, you know, pictures of um, people smoking, drinking, uh, you know, uh, uh, risque photographs, from video. Their, on their Facebook page from out being partying the night before. Exactly. And now that happened to you, Joey. Joey, you're training to be a police officer, is that right? Yes. And what happened to your Facebook page? What happened when you were out one night? Uh, a few people got on my uh, phone, on my Facebook, and they were posting vulgar comments of, you know, drinking and misusing curse words. And down the line, I'm, I'm afraid of that coming up, those comments, and hurting my chance of being a police officer. Do you think that that's something that could happen to Joey, that this could come back to haunt him? It's, it's very possible. When you do a search on someone, uh, you know, on the first page of search, uh, what shows up uh, is who you are. What have you learned through this whole process, Joey? Basically, to keep a more, you know, my phone more securely to me, and to make my, you know, privacy, you know, level a little more secure. And that's an important point. Facebook made a lot of changes about a week ago, and looking at all those changes, those, all of those privacy settings are on by default. Correct. And people really need to pay attention to that. All of those changes that Facebook made, they're on already. You need to turn them off. You need to be diligent about it and go through your profile and turn all of these things off, right? You do. You, you have to manage your online reputation. You have to make sure that your Facebook is locked down in a way that the outside world just can't, you know, get access to it. However, like we said, you know, 90% of uh, 18 to 24 year olds are actually sharing their data with people who they don't know. Uh, in addition to that, while 73%, you know, recognize the risks, uh, they are certainly out there they're putting themselves at risk. And I should also mention on foxnews.com, we had a chance to discuss this on a tech show that I do here called Gadgets and Games. You can go to our website. If you're concerned about your privacy settings, go there and check those out and turn off those settings. I want to thank Robert Siciliano and Joey Carroza and check out maintainmyprivacy.com. That's where you do a lot of your work. Yeah, we're here to empower people to make them more aware of the issues so that uh, they don't get themselves bit down the road. Great. Thanks, guys. Robert and Joey, thanks for joining thank us this much. morning. Appreciate it.